Well, hello, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. This is going to be your short short here, Sagittarius. I'm going to start with some um, oracles and then we're going to get into the tarot. Let's see what's going to come out here for you, Sagittarius. Oh my gosh, cards are trying to... That's just too many. That's too many. <laughs> if there was a couple, I would have taken it, but that's like 10 of them. This is for Sagittarius. Let's see. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so Sagittarius, you had at least one of the first, well, your first card that came out is destiny number six. Your destiny wants you to serve others, take responsibility, and be dependable generosity, sacrifice, and duty will surround you. The more you give, the more you get. Uh-oh. Destiny number six. You guys already know the sixth house is Virgo. And from what this looks like, it is a service energy. You guys are at this moment meant to be at service to someone. Now, this could be with what you're doing, your job, right? I mean, some of you feel like this could be a duty, I mean, it's active service. This could have something to do with um, the military or it could have something to do with being a teacher, right? I mean, it's a plethora of things where you guys could be a service, but it's saying right now, this is your destiny. <laughs> and it says, take responsibility. For some of you, you don't want to. You know this is something you should be doing, but you're like, I, I just don't want to do it. I don't think I'm capable of it. Mm -hmm. It says destiny. That means that you're going to get put in this position one way or the other. Whether you know how or, yeah, I'll just say it that way. Your next number is power number one. Reevaluate what it means to be independent and stand on your own two feet. Take initiative to be a leader. I told you, y'all, you know, Sagittarius, this has been coming out for y'all for the past three, three, three or four months. I don't know what the universal God want you guys to do. I don't. But it is a calling for you. It is a calling. It says take risk towards achievement in any realm you feel passionate about. A lot of you guys are intentionally ignoring your purpose. Number one is a, a, is a beginning. It is a you thing, though. It is an individual. It means you have to do this. Okay? That was pretty deep. Let me see. Let me see what else I can get here for you. Because this is not supposed to be a long video. So I don't want to make it longer than what it has to be. I just want to get to the point. But this is for Sagittarius. One more. Thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have victory. Okay. It says, I always wanted to be on top, but I never, I, I never like to be defeated. Hmm. You guys got victory regardless. And I'm not saying that you guys have this energy where you're like, I'm going to win at all costs. I mean, some of you guys could have been feeling that way or you could have always had that mentality. But either way, there's a victory energy here. I also feel that some of you guys are pulling away from people. You're withdrawn. I don't, you know, it's like, what is going on with you? What's going on, Sag? You have imagination and you have innocence oh wow my innocence was taken away i love imagining life a lot of you that victory energy i always wanted to be on top like you guys may have even as a kid you know how sometimes your parents can make you act be a be an adult when it's not time for you to be an adult mm-hmm you're like, I didn't even have a chance to be a kid. It's like that Michael Jackson syndrome, right? I didn't even have a chance to be a child. Maybe because you had to take care of the other kids in the house. And I'm not going to get into the other aspect of this because we can see what that says. And that's what you know. a lot of people have experienced that. And that's something that you guys, this is a childhood deck, right? And some of you are still holding that energy in you. And this is you know, the thing that may have destroyed your confidence. This is the reason why universe is trying to get you guys to push, 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 because it's something that you are meant to do. And it's telling you to use your imagination. Be creative. 
Okay, it's okay to be imaginative, right? <laughs> oh, Sag, wow. All right, so we're gonna use this deck. Whatever's in reverse is in reverse. Whatever's upright is upright. I'm gonna get a little bit deeper into this. A few more minutes left. This is for Sagittarius. We're gonna do longer readings. It's just right now, I had some stuff that needs to get done in this place. <laughs> few things that kind of went haywire here. All right, so this is for Sagittarius. Oh, got turned over. I'm gonna take it. Turned over in my hand. Wow. Queen of Pentacles. Let's do it like this. You got the Eight of Cups. All of these were in the upright too, by the way. I think they were in the upright, right? I don't think I'm, yeah, I don't think I turned any over. At least I don't think I did. And if I did, I don't remember. That means it was supposed to be upright. Here with the Eight of Cups, there's this this uh, dissatisfaction. But I love the fact that you guys are learning to let go of the things that are not, they're, it's stopping your growth. You, you're, you're hating that you're in this energy of unfulfillment. Uh, you're leaving people behind, situations, all of that. Because it does look like there could be someone who wants to come back in and talk to you. But it's like, it's just not going to work. Remember, the Queen of Pentacles is about business. And, and she's a humanitarian as well. She's very gen generous and very giving. But the thing is, you have to be balanced in order to do that. You can't be giving to people and being humanitarian and being at service to people when you are all out of whack here with the, the, the temperance card. If you're out of whack and out of balance, what are you going to be giving to other people? You got to give back to yourself. So you're healing yourself here. Okay, this is what it's saying. Having balance and harmony. There it is with that purpose again. I, I, man, it is a purpose here. Some of you, too, um, you're doing things to kind of self-soothe. I'm seeing this in this reading as well. Some of you guys are doing some self-soothing. Something to think about, okay? Because you're not happy. You got the five of pentacles in reverse. Recovery of financial loss. Absolutely. We saw that your money is going to get better with that queen of pentacles. And wow, you have a person coming in here, Sag, that's going to be very mature emotionally, someone that you like a lot. I do believe that for a lot of you, there's different people who want you, but your heart is not open. It's like you have such a big heart, but there's something going on with you, Sag. I feel like you are going to stable out. Maybe for some of you, you're not really able to love anyone the way you need to love them right now. Maybe you're just not at that place. But the King of Cups is saying you will be. Okay, you will be. Um, but I do feel like that that um, King of Cups and that Eight of Cups is talking to each other. So there are some things that need to happen first before you can actually get into the love that you really, really deserve. Um, because some of you guys may not even, like I said, there's something about yourself. It's something about you um, that you're not seeing. And you're in this, this energy of lack, but that's going to get removed. The five of pentacles is in reverse. You're not going to be lacking anything. And that is when you're going to be able to open your heart to love and get more emotionally stable. Because some of you guys, like again, there are some unbalances here, Okay. This is what I have for you. This little short, short. Thank you, Sagittarius, for coming back to my channel. And I'll see you guys back here again later. Bye, guys.